Hey guys, um, welcome to this week's video. Hey, um, first of all, a uh, big thank you to Dr. Sandra Lee. Sandra, thank you very much for the interview last month with uh, myself um, for the MJA Medical Journal of Australia. Uh, big thank you, Sandra. Thanks for that. Hey, um, today we'll be talking about cysts for all you popaholics up there. And we're going to be talking about different ways to extract cysts. We've got um, a comedomal extractor together with a um, needle technique. Um, we, I'll also be discussing Sandra's technique of using a bladed instrument together with the comedomal extractor. And also I'll show you our technique using a, um, a simple um, a needle, a simple 23 or 21 gauge needle. And also, good old lasers. So we'll see the different techniques and how they're used um, and which one's effective and what works and what doesn't. Stay tuned. As a guide, we can divide cysts into different types. Um, there are many different cysts, but um, in this case, we are treating inflammatory cysts. So inflammatory cysts are basically cysts secondary to acne. And they do best not with extractions, but with steroid injections. So you can see inflammatory cysts responding really well to just one or two steroid injections. And over a period of a week or two, these cysts calm down and that's what they look like. So we don't need to extract these, just inject them. Now, the next type of cysts are non-inflammatory cysts, and these can be cystic acne, submarine comedones, whiteheads, or even milia. These lie deep under the skin and extractions are needed because you can see there's no opening between the skin and the cyst itself. So here we are, we're using this simple technique. We're using the simplest technique out, and that's just using a needle. Um, we're using a, in this case, a blue needle. So we're using a 23 gauge needle. We're slowly extracting these cysts. So this is done with a um, numbing gel applied one hour prior. And we leave the gel on, slowly wiping the gel as we um, extract the cysts. The different types of comedomal extractors, um, we're just using a standard one here. The technique is very similar. It's basically firm pressure down and pull back. And you can see, look how, look, look at the way we're extracting them. It's just a tiny little prick. The needle doesn't go more than uh, a millimeter into the skin. So we want to penetrate the skin. We want to penetrate the cyst wall, but we don't want to go through the other side. And it's a very, patient process of extracting the cysts. I find it's really relaxing actually doing that. Um, doing a whole laser list the whole day and you're extracting these cysts, it's therapeutic, seriously. You see how fine we penetrate those. It's just a little nick where you try not to get bleeding. Um, that little nick you can get the contents out. And the patient's totally painless because of the gel. So with cystic acne like this, generally speaking these patients are on isotretinoin or orotane or accutane in the US. Uh, reason being is that once these cysts get extracted they are on medication, they don't recur. Uh, we can also use a vitamin A gel or a vitamin A cream afterwards to help reduce the um, chance of recurrence. It's firm pressure. And the cysts on bony areas are much easier to extract. Uh, so once again, we use a 23-7 lidocaine numbing gel, uh, which makes the procedure totally painless. So cysts which lie in bony areas, much easier to extract because you can actually have pressure um, against these areas and they just come out very easily. While it's blackheads and cysts on areas such as the cheek, a little bit more effort needed.
once again we're just penetrating just the top part of the cis layer into each one. So you can imagine um, some patients have hundreds of these cysts um, and each of these have to be manually extracted. So yeah, we can spend up to 30 minutes or even longer um, extracting the cysts. So sometimes I do this, well I used to do a lot of this, but a lot of my work's taken up with laser now. Um, so it's a joint effort between my nurses and myself um, extracting them. There are different techniques. Sometimes I use a hyfricator to actually drill a little hole. Um, I won't complicate things and show you five different methods, just um, three or four different methods to as to how we actually approach these. So you can see the needle, the bevel of the needle doesn't even go in. It's that superficial. And patient comfort is the most important thing for us and you can see it's totally painless for the patient. This is in the forehead area, um, they're the easiest to extract because of the bony prominence and um, we can put some firm pressure in the area. So there's firm pressure there and it's, it's all out. So like I said, prevention is very important. Um, topically, I would advise the use of either vitamin A. You can use some salicylic acid washes, but be careful if you combine both because that can be irritating to the skin. Glycolic acid um, peels can work as well. Um, same with um, salicylic acid chemical peels to help prevent these cysts from happening. Cysts can be hormonal, um, and if you're female, certainly the oral contraceptive pill can help as well. Um, but the most reliable method is with a vitamin A tablet, um, widely known as Accutane. It's got a bad reputation, but certainly if you have lots of these cysts or cystic acne or scarring acne, then that could be the treatment of choice for you. Certainly discussing that with your medical dermatologist is the most important thing. This patient has a few inflammatory cysts as well, um, which you probably can see in the video. And I think this patient is on um, antibiotics as well. So the inflammatory cysts, um, the small ones, don't need to be injected. They certainly can be injected, but um, antibiotics such as doxycycline or erythromycin can help. We spend, I think, half an hour with this patient and extracted quite a few hundred cysts. And once again, to re reiterate, the bony, bony prominences such as the, um, uh, the forehead, the nose area, uh, these areas are much easier to extract compared to the cheeks. Uh, because you've got something to push against and you can see how much of the contents we're getting out of here. It's a huge amount of keratin there and sebaceous material. Throughout the video, I'll show you different techniques from um, both ourselves and um, other dermatologists like Dr. Sandra Lee. So it's nearly cleared from the forehead area and um, nasal bridge. A few more cysts and it's all gone. See how easy it is to extract from that area. Well, all we're using is just a 20 cent needle, 
um, you can buy from the pharmacy. Okay, the next technique is Sandra's technique. Um, this is Dr. Sandra Lee injecting. So she does a slightly different technique. She puts local in, which is fine. She's using a vibratory te technique. So it's vibrating the skin to distract the patient. Um, and I'll let her discuss. Let me skin here. Sometimes you might feel a little poke. Are you on aspirin or? A blood thinner? I am. Yeah. Aspirin. That's what can cause you to kind of um, maybe bleed a little bit more. But that's normal and it's nothing harmful. And I mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get some of these down for her. So in summary, Dr. Lee uses a bladed technique together with local anesthetic. And now um, I'm discussing lasers and laser drilling. So I use either an erbium laser or a CO2 laser. Uh, in this case, I'm using a CO2 laser. Uh, lasers do have the advantage of, um, as you can see there, it's, it's very, very quick. So we're not moving in and out all the time with the blade. It's basically a dot. We're just creating channels, we're just creating holes. Um, the lo this local anesthetic cream that's been applied one hour prior, so the procedure itself is totally painless. Um, and you can see how quick this is. It's super, super quick. Uh, and it's kind of neat as well because if you use a CO2 laser, it coagulates, which means it's bloodless. Um, if we use an erbium laser, it does not coagulate. So in other words, it does not seal off the blood vessels you get some bleeding. So you can see this is an effective method as well using a CO2 laser to pre-drill the holes. So if someone has extensive uh, whiteheads and cysts Certainly the use of an anesthetic cream uh, is better than, in my opinion, better than actually injecting the whole area, but certainly if they are deep uh, and they're localized, then um, the technique of Dr. Lee, um, whereby she uses local anesthetic to the area, is very effective. So you can see the difference with the needle technique which we use compared to the um, CO2 drill technique. It's kind of neither, isn't it? Less, less blood, um, less gunk in that area, uh, and certainly less gel. Um, bony areas, it's equally as effective because, like I said, it's very easy to put pressure down and into these areas compared to extracting on the cheeks. Sometimes what we do is we soften up the um, area with some numbing cream, but not only that, some warm compresses to soften up the area. And that's especially important for blackheads extraction, not so much for whiteheads because you're really not softening much except for the skin. Uh, but sometimes if patients have a combination of blackheads and whiteheads and cysts, then uh, compresses can help. I do apologize for the photography, guys. I'm uh, new to this. I think this must be my fourth, um, fourth or fifth whitehead video. So getting there slowly. Nowhere the standard of um, Dr. Pimple Popper. Yeah, one of the disadvantages of uh, numbing cream is that we've got to move pretty quick because there's got a time limit of about 15 to 20 minutes before it starts wearing off. So yeah, we've got to move pretty, pretty, pretty quick. So sorry about that, guys. I know you like slow extractions. But there you have it, um, laser cyst extractions.
So guys, there you have it. You can see the different methods to actually treat cysts. Um, everything from um, lasers, high-tech lasers, to low-tech um, needles. Um, so you can see they all have their pros and their cons. Certainly uh, different ways to actually help the patient as well. Some people inject local anesthetic, some people use local anesthetic cream, some people don't use local anesthetic. You can see there's so many ways to extract cysts. Uh, it really is up to the skill set of the operator and also what they're comfortable with and what they've been taught. So nothing's right, nothing's wrong. You can see the pros and cons of each. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching this channel um, and taking your time to actually watch this. Uh, much appreciated. Remember to subscribe. Um, so remember, one new video um, every Saturday morning. I'll sneak in those popaholic videos for you guys once every couple of months. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, bye. Our new website, lasersandlifts.com.au will be out within the next um, four weeks. So I'll put all my videos in one resource. Um, so that's lasersandlifts.com.au out in uh, August. Thanks.